ったねー。Okay, if you've seen my past videos about the Chiroso 89, I am obsessed with this coffee. I finally decided that I want to use this coffee to freeze dry it, vacuum pack and freeze dry it. And then I want to see the results. So I just, I just weighed the remaining coffees right now. We have 20 grams, so I'm going to split it. 10 grams, 10 grams will remain in the bag and on the shelf. Then 10 grams will go inside the freezer. And then maybe after a month, let's try just a month, if it will have a different um, taste and which will have a better one, right? Let me just get my, let me just get my vacuum sealer and then we'll start with the vacuum sealing of the Chiroso 89 from Curve Coffee Collaborators. And yes, it's still in the box. I like keeping things inside their boxes when I'm not using them. I like keeping things inside their boxes. In that way, I might be able to preserve them from dust and whatever. Right. Um, okay, so we are doing 10 grams here and then 10 grams in the bag. Here is another dosing tray. I'm gonna put 10 grams here. There, exactly 10 grams. It's funny because I I waited till I almost finished the bag before deciding to finally do this. But yeah, I really didn't want to do this at all. Okay, so we are vacuum sealing this and then this goes back in the bag. Then I'm just gonna put it on the shelf right there. All right. Maybe I should cut this down. So we can use this another time. We can use that for another coffee, but here it is. And then we're gonna vacuum seal it. Yeah, there, I think it's done. All right. So we have 10 grams of Chirosa right here. And the reason why I picked this is I'm very, since I'm very obsessed with the Chiroso, um, I'm very familiar with how it tastes. And if it degrades over time, um, I will know exactly what it tastes like. Right. So. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and then let's wait maybe a month. So we're gonna put a timestamp here. So today is oh no, it's not sticking. Okay, so good thing I have a tape here.
Alright, so this is Chiroso. Chiroso Natural, I think natural. Yeah, Chiroso Natural. Alright, so we have we have a proper labeling here. And then maybe I should write something on the packaging also. Um, July 13. Maybe we should put do not brew. <laughs> I do not brew. Until okay, there. Maybe I should take out the air, right? Okay, so this guy goes on the shelf, and then this guy goes in the freezer. We'll wait one month. And then we're gonna brew them together. And then I will tell you what I think. So this experiment will actually be the first step. This will be the first step in, um, I'm trying to debunk if we really need to do this. Don't hate me for this, but I think it's over the top. If you really like the coffee, just drink it, right? <laughs> but yeah. I'm doing this experiment to see if we really need to do this or you can simply put this on the shelf. Anyway, if I am proven wrong and we really need to do this to preserve the properties of the coffee, then I will admit my mistake. But yeah, this is the reason why I'm doing this experiment, right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. See you in one month.